Some park uh, city history appears to have collapsed due to the heavy snow. It happened at Old Mining Building, a Park City Mountain Resort. ABC4's Nick McGurk live in Park City with the story this evening. Hey, Nick. Hey, Emily. Hey, Don. We're downtown Park City. This is where tourists walk. This is what people picture when they think of Sundance Film Festival, Park City Resort Town, right? But it has history as a mining town, and some of that history, it appears, has been destroyed. This game was awesome. fabulous today. Yeah, Very awesome. Nice. The snow that has created a picture perfect ski season. Oh, oh yeah, yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is the very same snow that has just about destroyed a piece of history. There was a lot of snow on it. I mean, you can see that there was a lot of snow load. Skiers like Michael and Heidi Thibodeau saw this just off the Bonanza lift at Park City Mountain Resort. A warehouse from the Silver King mine collapsed. It's very sad. Early Monday morning, Sally Elliott got word of what had happened. We're running out of time. We don't have much time on these structures. Elliot is with an organization called Friends of Ski Mountain Mining History, and her cause is preserving these old mining structures before it's too late. The severe winters that we have here are very hard on the old structures. The snow loads are particularly difficult. Half of the building is now caved in. Elliot says it's proof that unless more is done, Park City history could continue its slow collapse. The structures at the Silver King mine haven't been touched since 1953 when they closed the mine and turned the electricity off. So obviously very historic buildings. No surprise that they would be having some structural issues and of course uh, that is what she is so concerned about as far as preserving the buildings. We did reach out to PCMR in a statement and what they told us is they've roped this area off due to the structural integrity. They say of course uh, the safety of their guests and everyone who frequents the mountain is their top priority. Live in Park City tonight, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.